Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Pro Division in the Coastal Classic Tournament. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content. If you do want to get the updated text guides for the Coastal Classic Tournament or maybe for future tournaments as well, sign up on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. In this playthrough, you're going to see only my shots, but I've added some special shots uh, like for an example i've added a power hook for hole number four uh, and there is also some interesting lines of, uh, also to take so uh, if you do have any questions let me know in the comment section below and also if you like it hit thumbs up so let's go with hole number one ten percent extra for the drive and here i would say a power three ball would be the best but it's not like a, a must because we can play with a power two ball, power one ball. The only thing that we will have to do is that once we are done with the with the adjustment, it to push up uh, a ring, a ring and a half. Max top spin is not something that I do want you to do here. I want you to play with somewhere between three to five bars of top spin because we do not want the ball to roll too far on the second fairway. No side spin is needed, and we're going to over adjust it 10%. And there you can see the ball is going to bounce on the fairway over to the second fairway and land very nicely here, giving ourselves an open shot towards the pin. The second shot here is going to be a good opportunity in my opinion. Very important that you take a look at in what range are you with your club, because as we're playing to the right of the playing a straight drive, it's very important that you take a look at where you are because it's harder to dial in a shot like this when we're going to change direction for the second shot. Two to three bars of backspin depending on what you feel comfortable with and also side spin if you want to, you don't have to. The second shot is going to be 10% extra as well. So once again to repeat the elevation, 10% for the drive. 10% for the second shot. This is going to be a shot that we're gonna get close as we do have a very good wind angle to play with. Just a slight left to right type of tailwind. And you know, if we're lucky enough, we're gonna get that ball in the hole at some point. Hole number two, and here it's once again, the quarterback that we're going to play with. I do uh, stay with the katana as I feel that the side spin could be very valuable for the second shot, especially with this type of wind. Max side spin to the right and two bars of top spin is what I'm playing with. But I would say that one and a half bar top spin is going to be enough. Maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment for this shot. And we're not gonna go with any curl whatsoever. Unfortunately, I hit this shot great, but the ball, it, only it's gonna come in a little bit too much to the right and here you can see the reason why I do want one and a half bar instead of two as I feel we're coming a little bit too long in this case. Max a side spin to the right and three bars of backspin. Aim for the pin and then we're going to play the maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment here. So in this case we're going to play for a 5.2 win we're going to play this one slightly more than six rings. Very important though, that you have in mind that we're going to get this ball, what can I say? This ball is going to be pushed to the left by the wind. It's naturally like that on this hole for some reason, but it's very important that we do compensate enough. A little bit more than we would be getting that ball in the hole. Good chance for an eagle in my opinion. Hole number three. Oh my god, it's time for the rough bump. I'm going to play this one with three and a half bar backspin in the end and also five bars of side spin. And here there is a trick here that is very, very important. Is that once you're done with the adjustment, you need to pull back one ring towards the T. So we're going to play it maximum distance with a 50% over adjustment as a start. And then we're gonna pull back the target just a little bit. That was not even a ring, that was maybe just half a ring or not even that. It's very important that you do so to be able to hit the rough. Now I hit the rough pretty far up 
and we're coming in with a very nice speed so if it would be directly directly at the hole then that ball would be in the hole as well very tough hole be happy with the birdie but i wanted to show you the rough bump as an alternative if you do want to go aggressive hole number four here i'm going to show you two approaches one where we're gonna play just a regular shot with a lower level apocalypse trying to get over to the fairway on the left uh, using the blue ring as a marker trying to have that one by the rough line now you can see i have half of it which is okay and then we're going to play max side spin to the left with the katana ball combined with three bars of top spin now we're going to play max curl to the left and here for a lower level apocalypse the max curl is not gonna be that much we're gonna get it over there though but we're gonna just barely get it over from here we do have a wedge or we do have a short iron for the pin another shot that i think is going to be easier for you is to still use the katana but to play with the quarterback max side spin to the right and then we're going to play with four bars of top spin which is the maximum on the quarterback level nine here i do want you to use the edge of the rough uh, the, sorry the just the cut off between the rough and the sand as a marker when you do adjust then you make minor tweak left minor tweak right depending on the strength and the wind but that marker is gonna work beautifully for you and you see we do have room for more fairway hit there and then we're getting it over very very nicely max over power and then full power hook with your shot Hole number five, 10% extra here. And this is an adjustment that I've been dropping a lot already. So really study this one closely because this is going to be a very good chance for you getting this ball in the hole. One and a half bar backspin and five bar side spin to the left. And we get, the only thing that we're looking for here is to get the ball guideline to the hole. And then once we're done, we're going to play this one medium distance plus 10% which is one to one and for those of you not familiar with that expression one to one means that you take whatever wind we're having in this case 6.8 and then you adjust it 6.8 rings and the ball is going to come in nicely on the top and it's going to fall down give me yourself a nice only one that adjustment has worked many times already so i feel very good about that one Hole number six, and here we're going to have to pull out a power three ball, trying to go for the double bounce. Have in mind here that we do have a little bit of tailwind, so we're not getting the second bounce deadly close to the rough, leave a little bit of room, so you're not getting the second bounce to be in the rough. Maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment, and we're going to add a max top spin and no side spin in this case. So the reason we're not going to use any side spin here is due to the wind already pushing the ball right to left. Once you're done with your adjustment, you're gonna push up the club up to max distance to, so you're not having to go with overpower. So pushing it up is going to compensate for the need of getting overpower. Second shot, 20% extra and this one is a very tough one as well I'm you I'm going to use all from one to four bars of top spin depending on how far the drive is going to go in this case we're using three aiming for the left side of the green to get the ball guideline fall down towards the pin now we're going to play the maximum distance with a 20% over adjustment which in this case is going to be 7.2 rings no curl whatsoever and no side spin whatsoever either we're gonna just let the ball get to roll here and get in here to the green and now when we zoom in we know it's gonna be close ah, so close and if we would just hit in the pin that ball would be in the hole tough shot though still hole number seven here we're gonna go for the rough bump i would suggest playing with a kingmaker if you do have a bunch to spare otherwise you're going to play with a titan make sure here though that you back up a little bit with the top spin not using four and a half bars using four bars instead max side spin to the right and get the ball guideline to the hole 
very important. Then you're going to adjust for a maximum distance with a 15% over adjustment. And in this case, it's going to be nine, sorry, 8.8 .8 rings. And then we're going to take our shot here and the rough bump here, I do believe is going to be the best chance for us getting this ball in the hole, but we will have to see this one as the ball guideline will be a little bit foolish sometimes, but I've been getting a decent consistency there. The only important part I would say there is to make sure that you're having a little bit less topspin because we do have a tailwind that's gonna push us enough. So leave the ball guideline a little bit short. Hole number eight, and here I'm going to show you a successful way getting up to the top right fairway, giving ourselves a very good chance for making an eagle. 10% extra for the drive, and we're going to have to go with around one ball of curl to the right, and also around 25 to 30% of overpower. Max top spin, max side spin to the right. The thing that can happen is that you either get up here, like we are now, or you get stuck in the rough. If you get stuck in rough, you're going to want to have packed a club that gives you a lot of backspin already from the start. And that's going to be the Amazon or the Machete as a club, because otherwise you will not be able to go for the pin. But if you do the shot well and we get over here to the top right fairway, we can use the Thorn, which is also a very important club to play with. And then you're going to play for the rollback shot, so you are aiming pass the pin for the ball to roll back. No elevation adjustment for the second shot and for the drive, as I said, is going to be 10% extra. And this one is deadly close. <laughs> oh my God, that is so close. Hole number nine, we do have a very uh, favorable wind here. We do have a left to right tail wind. That's the perfect wind here. And I'm going to play with a lower level Apocalypse, in this case, level two. If you do have, uh, if you don't, I mean, have a lower level Apocalypse, you play with a quarterback still with a power three ball. The only difference it's gonna make with those type of clubs is that you're going to need to go with a little bit of overpower with the quarterback due to the, uh, yeah, the, the minor distance, or like the less distance that you're having on that club. Max side spin to the left, and we're going to play this one with three to five bars of top spin. I would say four bars would be perfect. We'll get the ball to bounce there over to the other fairway and leave a nice uh, shot here for us going towards the pin. 10% extra for the drive, very, very important. Second shot, we play with the sniper. And here it all depends on how far you will go with your drive in what type of adjustment we're gonna make. In this case, I'm going to play this one with three bars of backspin, leaving the ball guideline a little bit short as we do have tailwind. I'm using also a little bit of side spin to the right and once again, you can use whatever backspin or like spin adjustment you, you feel comfortable with. The important part is that going forward in the tournament, is that you are consistent. You're using the same type of spin adjustment for the first time as the second time, etc to have an easier time to dial the shot in. 5% extra for the second shot, not much, but necessary nonetheless. Getting it close, and you know, if we're lucky, we're gonna get that ball to drop at one point. So this was the playthrough for Pro Division in the Coastal Classic Tournament. And before we end up here, do not forget to join in on Patreon to get updated text guides also make a comment in the comment section below if you like the video. Take your time, hit thumbs up if you like it, and the video is sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic. Good luck in the tournament.